This week on Avalanche Garage. How to get a steel bumper for free. Hi, I am Daddy H, a robot voice from the future. You may remember me from such films as How Winches Are Installed and Best Hill Climbs of 2022. The Avalanche comes with plastic bumper covers. They are nice for going to town, but have no place in an overlanding truck. Guy removes the plastic. What do you know? There's an actual bumper underneath. Guy wipes most of the dirt off to see better. This bumper will do. Reverse sensors are practical, but they are attached to the plastic. Guy will need to move them over. Guy does not own a step drill. So he uses a whole saw and a grinding stone. This is a cheap black and decker drill bit made of chinesium. Nice. Stone makes a quick work of opening up the holes. The sensor attachment things have little tabs for clocking them in. Guy files two notches. Guy paints the sensors black for style. Guy grinds most of the rust off with a wire brush.
Some body work is needed. Paint and primer together. What a country! Guy sprays some paint in the general direction of the bumper. Five hours later. Ready for Craigslist. The reverse sensors find their new homes. Plain steel is a bit slippery to climb on. Guy could spray some bed liner on the top, but he's using the original plastic things instead. The things attach to the slots on the bumper with tabs, but since the bumper cover is not in between anymore, Guy cut some closed cell foam a better fit. License plate lights attach back to where they were. This is just two. Perfect. At this time, turn the tape over for bonus content. Here's a typical day in the avalanche garage. Guy wanted to try out kryptonite sway bar and links made for Chevy trucks. Unfortunately they don't quite fit the GMT-800. 
They are too long and would bind badly. Fortunately most of the film was lost and you don't need to suffer through it. The GM and link design is garbage. The sway bar and the lower control arm swing along different axes, and there's not enough flex in the link. The bushings get chewed up in a couple of months on trails. Simple aftermarket links are not any better, but they are cheap. Since the the kryptonites did not work out, Guy just replaces the bushings once more. Guy has seen a variety of ways people stack these up. This is the correct way. The LCA and the sway bar end go in between the bushes, nowhere else. The rule for tightening the nut is just enough, but not too much. <laughs> 